Ezio! Here! Over here! Thank you, Ezio. You saved my life. I did what had to be done. You would have done the same. <laughs> I doubt it. Bravery is not my strong suit. I owe you a debt, brother. Di niente. Tutti a bordo! Fra poco si salpa! That's our traghetto. Venezia waits. Where's your pass? What pass? You don't have a pass? You cannot enter Venezia without a pass. Who invited you? Eh, uh, nobody. Basta! No pass, no entrance! Don't worry, Leonardo. I'll come up with something. Don't just stand there! I need help! Madonna. Oh, you're good. The ladies must like you. I wasn't looking to impress, only to help someone in distress. Which is exactly why you impress. And you are Messer... Auditore. But please, call me Ezio. I'm Caterina. Now, Ezio. We must find you suitable reward. Do you have any suggestions? There is perhaps something you could help me with. I'm all ears. Yes, signora. Whatever you say, signora. He won't trouble you anymore. I took care of it. Thank you, Caterina. Perhaps we'll see each other again. Should you ever find yourself in the city of Forli, it would be my pleasure to welcome you. I look forward to enjoying your hospitality. Please accept my most humble apologies, Messere. But had I known... <laughs> it's quite all right, my friend. Be careful, Ezio. Do you know who that was? My next conquest. <laughs> uh, I don't think so, Ezio. That's Caterina Sforza, daughter of the Duca di Milano. Her husband is... Husband? See. Si. Her husband is the Lord of Forli. That woman is as powerful and dangerous as she is young and beautiful. Sempre come una donna per me. Everything all right? Better than all right. You're making amazing progress. Amazing's quite a strong word. Then why are we stopping? Prolonged exposure to the Animus can have, uh, side effects. <laughs> awesome. It's nothing to worry about. You haven't shown any of the symptoms. Symptoms? What symptoms? Degradation of cognition, temporal hallucinations, multiple awareness issues, overlapping realities. You know, 
So, what you're saying is... What we're saying, Desmond, is if you're not careful, you may not need the Animus to visit with your ancestors. Which wouldn't be a bad thing, assuming you could control it. Up until now, though, no one has. Subject 16. We have safeguards, Desmond. And they kept him in the Animus for way too long, sometimes days at a time. We're being careful with you. I hope so. Anyway, I was hoping we could test out your skill retention. See if you've picked up some of Ezio's abilities. I'm game. Great. Meet me downstairs when you're ready. So what's the plan? We're gonna see what you've managed to retain. Come on. Abstergo's out there, looking for us. They're better funded and better equipped. So it's only a matter of time before they find this place. We need to be ready for them when they do. I want you to activate the warehouse's defense system. I'll let you figure out how to reach the sensors. Oh, come on. Not even a hint? Open your eyes, Desmond. Uh, Lucy? I'm seeing things. Do the hallucinations last longer than 30 seconds? No. Then it's nothing to be worried about. It'll pass. So, how am I doing? You've picked up every single one of Ezio's skills. The adoption rate is fantastic. Another day or two and we'll be done. Alright, you gotta tell me. Why Ezio? Why Italy? I mean, we could have just gone back to Altair again. Followed him during his early years. It started with 16. Ah, good old Subject 16. He repainted my room, you know. With his blood. I'd been going through his files. Vidic flagged a couple of his Animus sessions. A bunch of different ancestors, different dates and locations. Ancient Africa, the Middle East. But towards the end, he became obsessed with Italy. I think he knew about the vault. A few of the records of his later animus sessions are missing. And the sessions that are there... After everything the Templars put him through... After everything... I put him through... It's all scrambled. If we hadn't pushed Sixteen so hard, we'd have the answers already. And maybe he'd still be alive. So you're after the Codex and the Vault. I knew you had an ancestor in Italy who was at the center of all of this. All right, I think we're done for the day. You should get some rest. Lucy, what happened to Sixteen wasn't your fault. You were just as much a prisoner as I was. Thanks. Good night, Desmond. I'm glad you're here. What the hell? What is this? Where am I? It's... Acre. 
Altair. Hmm. That must be his target. I must have passed out. Just having some kind of weird dream. Going without sleep for who knows how long. Guess I shouldn't be surprised. It's the woman from Acre. What was her name? Maria. Yeah. I wonder what he wants with her. Whoa. All right. Wasn't expecting that. Wait a second. Why aren't I following Altair? I'm stuck here with Maria? Oh shit. That must mean. This is one weird dream. Sorry to barge in on you like this, but it's getting late and we were... Hey, you okay? Uh, yeah, yeah, all good. Weird dreams, that's all. All right. I'll let you get ready. See you in a few. Ah, good of you to join us. Sorry. Long night. What a professional. What a professional approach. Leave him alone. Well, you'll forgive me if I want to get some actual work done. Oh, madness, isn't it? Sean! Please, that's enough. All right. Hey. <clears throat> uh, hi. 
You okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Everything's fine. You sure? We lost two more teams last night. That's eight more of us, just... gone. I'm sorry. I don't know what to do anymore. It just keeps getting worse and worse. Hey, remember what you told me? You gotta have faith. And look, here we are, safe and sound. <laughs> For how long? And when they find us, then what? When that happens, if that happens, we'll deal with it. I'll keep you safe. Anyway, enough with my little breakdown. I should get back to work. And so should you. Really, I'm fine, I promise. <laughs>